YouTube, Big E here. You may remember my first gen hot rod, which was made up to uh, be used with 21st century smoke and gamuchi and similar cartridge systems. It had issues and went through a few revisions. There's been a lot of input and a lot of feedback from people and I want to show you the result. I'm sorry, it's been such a long wait. But here you go. This is my latest version of the hot rod. This one's been all pressed together. It's just a straight aluminum finish. And as I've said, it features an Ego connection instead of your standard connection. 510 Ego. So not only can you use a standard cartomizer like this one or atomizer that has a 510 connection, but you can use a big boy like this. This is one of those double XL uh, ego type cartomizers. As you can see, since it possesses the right threads for an ego connection, you run those no problem. As well as the tank systems, they have the ego cones and whatnot. Those are completely compatible with this, as are the cones, as you can see. The cones will go on there just fine. So this one is currently running off-the-shelf rechargeable AAA batteries for testing purposes. It works fine. It's all press fit together, uh, minimal soldering, and I think it turned out great. Uh, the violet LED that I was going to use unfortunately broke, but once again safety switch on the bottom. And as you can see I'm using one of the lights one of the LED lights that was recycled from the flashlight in the first place that the mod was made from. Let's see how this puppy vapes. I'm going to screw on a cone here. Unfortunately, I just used this one for illustrative purposes. It was dead. So I'm going to have to use this one. I currently have Johnson Creek original flavor, 18 milligram strength. And uh, let's see how it vapes in the hot rod version too. I think I can get a little more out of that. I think I need to fill this thing again. Oh, that's way better. So once I, I can't wait till I get the protected battery to stick in there. It's going to go all day. Now you would need a separate charger, just like when you're using off-the-shelf rechargeables. I'm going to change the batteries at least once throughout the day when I use standard off-the-shelf rechargeables as opposed to an actual e-cig battery that was designed to drive a e-cig application. As you can see here, lovely, lovely, lovely rushed aluminum finish. You got your nice little clicker. Beautiful. And it vapes excellent. Fantastic. So you can expect future models coming out. Uh, I'm probably going to start selling these. I'm gearing up for that. The, the trick is going to be sourcing the Ego connections. For the time being, I've been recycling them from dead batteries. But uh, I don't know. Hit me up with some more ideas. I, I sort of like having the lanyard on there still. It came on the flashlight when I first bought it. But uh, perhaps you'd prefer it without. If that's the case, you just take it off. But I left it on there for now. It looks nice. It works great. Tell me, what do you think? Revision 2, now 510 Ego Connection. Hit me back. Want to use that? Tell everybody at home your opinion of uh, the Hot Rod version 2 is. Very, very well. It's more satisfying than a normal like uh, 510 battery? Yes, because I go through my battery at least three times I gotta change it. Well, I'm editing this in post. I can ramble on as much as I want. I think it sounded good. You think it sounded good? Mm -hmm. Problem is I don't pay attention to the camera half the time. I'm just too busy looking at, oh look at this feature here and look at this feature. 